Jan Figel is the special envoy for the promotion of religious freedom outside the European Union. He was appointed by President Juncker in May 2016. He receives us in his office at the European Commission in Brussels. He just came back from Iraq, where he met the leaders of political and religious communities. Baghdad, Najaf and Erbil were the cities visited by the first EU authority in an official visit to the country. He met also religious leaders of Christian Yazidi communities, victims of genocide in the areas of Iraq taken by ISIS. Iraq is in very difficult conditions. Its country, after intervention and uh, a lot of uh, damage done by 2003 uh, war, and then uh, chaotic situation, including rise of Al Qaeda and now ISIS, uh, the whole country suffered and especially minorities, because they were abandoned. They were abandoned by the central government of Baghdad. Uh, they feel abandoned also by uh, Kurdish authorities, uh, and they became uh, victims of uh, genocide. Many of these minorities are unique worldwide. Kakais, uh, Sabaks, uh, they uh, are at the edge of extinction. Christians were being depleted. So for tomorrow and for future, uh, minorities uh, will represent important test and criterion of viability of uh, Iran as democratic and stable society. Uh, Iraq needs to protect and promote position of minorities much more. If not, it will be divided into three basic components uh, between Shia and Sunni Muslims and Kurds. And this is not a uh, rich society where diversity means uh, cultural heritage, but also creativity and common future. Minorities in uh, Iraq deserve more attention and more support from international community. Uh, ISIS as terrorist organization must be eliminated. After liberation of Mosul, we can and we should speak much more about return and do our best to uh, facilitate safe return and safe life of minorities, whether we mean Christians, Yazidis or others. It's very important for these people to first of all get uh, security. Without security, nothing else is working. And security means much more attention from Baghdad, much more help from uh, provincial or local authorities. No single minister since the new government is in place visited northern Iraq with a lot of minorities in troubles. Uh, it's an urgent call for more care and support for minorities for conditions which means uh, not only safe return but recognition of uh, rights, property rights and giving minorities more self-administration instead of bureaucracy or negligence or indifference. Europe can help a lot. It's a good example of reconciliation and reconstruction after bloody uh, wars and liquidation of the others. Uh, Europe is a credible partner and I think that uh, today much more is expected in Iraq from Europe. We can help on central level in implementation reforms, pushing for justice, for more fair treatment of minorities. On the local level, I think minorities deserve more attention and direct support. Without bureaucracy, without corruption or corrupted structures. Uh, look, today uh, there is no anti-Europeanism in Iraq. There is a lot of anti-Americanism for obvious reasons. Therefore, Europe should step up its uh, intense, credible and constructive cooperation and the most vulnerable and the most expecting groups of such assistance are religious and ethnic minorities. This is our invitation. I feel this is even our responsibility to help.